Hello everyone, in continuation to our last video on normal distribution, today we will look at the basics of binomial distribution. Binomial distribution is a discrete probability distribution which represents a sequence of n Bernoulli trials. A Bernoulli trial or binomial trial is a random experiment with exactly two possible outcomes, success and failure, in which the probability of success is the same every time the experiment is conducted. If x is a random variable that equals the number of successful trials, then x is binomially distributed with parameters p as in Peter and n as in November, where p is probability of success for each trial and n is the number of trials. Symbolically, binomial formula is as follows, where exclamation sign is known as factorial. We read it as n factorial. For example, 5 factorial is equal to the multiplication of 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. It goes in a descending order. Another example would be 3 factorial. It would be the multiplication of 3, 2, and 1, again in descending order. The part of the formula which reads px, that is p raised to the power x, multiplied by 1 minus p raised to the power n minus x, represents probability of obtaining x successes in n trials. The other part of the formula which is n factorial divided by x factorial multiplied by n minus x factorial represents the number of ways in which x successes in n trials can occur. An important point to note here is that mean of a binomial distribution is np and variance is np multiplied by 1 minus p. Let's look at the conditions for a distribution to be called binomial. Firstly, experiment should have some number of identical trials. Each trial should result in a success or a failure, going by the Bernoulli trial that we just talked about. For every trial, the probability of success remains the same. And finally, the trials are independent. All these conditions should be met for a binomial distribution. Now let's look at a sample problem to see its application. A coin is tossed 10 times. What is the probability of getting exactly 6 heads? So going by the formula, this is what we have. It is 0 0.21. So the probability of getting exactly 6 heads is 0 0.21. That was very simple, isn't it? Well, I hope you now understand the basics of a binomial distribution. And you would definitely come back to me if you have any questions, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave your comments or connect with me on LinkedIn for specific requests. Bye-bye.